Hey you guys, it's Brit. Today we're here to talk about the sad beige mom who went viral over on TikTok and a lot of people had a lot of thoughts, including myself, but if you're interested, please keep watching. All right, you guys, so tonight we're here to talk about this um, new mom lifestyle mommy vlogger creator. Her name is Natty, and her username is Natty J O P O, and she has uh, 100,000 followers, and she does, as her bio says, motherhood lifestyle and DIY type of content. And she does utilize her child a fair amount in her, um, a fair amount in her content. Like I, I don't, I, I don't think that I would put her in the category of full blown family vlogger, like somebody like the Ballingers or the LeBrant family or the Ace family. But she certainly does feature her, uh, her, her toddler quite a bit, and she does some DIY stuff. And with the holiday season upon us, she decided to do a DIY sad beige Christmas tree for her child. And evidently this year, and tell me if I'm wrong down below, do y'all have toddlers and is this a hot toy this season? Tell me if I'm uh, right or wrong, but it is this uh, plastic Christmas tree that has plastic uh, a plastic star and a plastic little railroad track that goes around and plastic ornaments and it's a really cute toy you know fun bright colors and something that the toddler can interact with and have fun with well what better way to remind everybody that you are a sad beige mom than to take this cute colorful toddler Christmas tree and paint the ornaments with spray paint to be a very mopey, sad, ugly brown. Different shades of brown and beige. We're going to watch her first video, then we're going to watch her second video, which she thought was going to be some sort of redemption or comeback, um, and it backfired. So let's watch the first part um, to see what got us here, and then we'll watch her second part. Go ahead and call me crazy or a sad beige mom for what I'm about to do. Today I'm giving the step two, my first Christmas tree, a total makeover. I'm leaning into my inner Pinterest mom with the vision to neutralize the tree. And I can already hear you thinking that I'm going to ruin my toddler's Christmas by painting over these colors. Let's be real, my toddler's favorite toys are brown cardboard boxes and clear plastic water bottles. So I really think that she's a neutral girly at heart. After taking a good long look at the tree, I headed over to Lowe's where I picked out all of her spray paint colors. I can list them all below if you guys would If like. you're crazy like me and end up doing this DIY, make sure to get the kind that specifically says that bonds to plastic. Once I decided which colors of spray paint to use on each part, it was go time. I originally wanted to paint the body of the tree a brown, but then I you know what? I want my tree to look a little bit alive. So here I am painting an already green tree, another shade of green. I gave it a very realistic Christmas tree look, which I love. The gold was way less gold than what I was thinking for the star, but I actually kind of dig the brass antique look. For the tree skirt, I used this satin color Rust-Oleum paint. When it was time to paint the ornaments, I just took some painter's tape and I covered the little ornament hooks with those. I wanted to keep those white. Here's a little pro tip that I learned, or basically a rookie mistake that I made. And honestly, I'm so silly I didn't do this in the first place, but you'll definitely want to hang up the ornaments in order to spray paint them, not leaving them laying on the cardboard. I'm getting super goopy in the paint. After a few hours when the paint dried, I was able to go in with a coat on the back side of the trees and all that was left to do is to let it sit and dry overnight. Thankfully, there was only a little bit of peeling on one of my trees that I could easily fix, but it was almost time for the moment of truth and to see how it all looked together. After putting on the star, part of me wants to go back in and add some type of glitter or shine on it, but let me know what you guys think. Here's how the DIY ornaments turned out, guys. Honestly, I love them. They are definitely giving organic modern vibes. I might even go back in to add some little velvet ribbon bows along the hooks. I do need you guys' help. Should I paint the train or leave it as it? So in the first part, she obviously goes over to her local Lowe's, Home Depot, whatever you have in your area, and buys the spray paint to spray the tree, the um, base of it, the star, and the ornaments. And obviously bright colors, you know, as child, you know, um, child experts have chimed in on this conversation. So I am echoing what they have said with their expertise. But for obvious reason, color is instrumental to your child's growing up and them being able to see a full spectrum of color and recognize different um different depths of color and color um 
primary colors versus secondary colors like bright colors are typically in a child's bedroom for a reason you know there's a reason why toys are brightly colored and you know you see uh games and stuff that have really bright colors and children's books are usually not brown and white and black because they're for children to enjoy and for children to um learn and grow and develop from you know having these items in their childhood but the more well i sh i don't know if i should say the more important part but equally as important to this conversation is the fact that she is using what she is calling this like crunchy organic au natural vibe but she's actually using extremely toxic spray paint on a toddler's toys and she didn't prime the plastic correctly. The paint job looks absolutely atrocious. She said herself that the paint was already starting to chip off of some of the ornaments. And in the second video, she goes on to say how her kid doesn't put the ornaments in their mouth. And you know what? Maybe she has the only toddler in the United States that doesn't put toys in their mouth but let's just say that they are touching the toys and then they are sucking their thumb or eating food um this is just a this is a huge problem for for an assortment of reasons and not to mention if it wasn't for the developmental issues and the safety hazards it's also just really, really boring and what a way to push your beige aesthetic onto your child. The only thing that I will say about this video is I do like the darker green color on the tree, but I mean, my God, I would never expect a, a toddler to uh, play with things that match my color aesthetic. Like that's just not something that in my opinion, you should be pushing your child to do. And you can see like these ornaments are absolutely atrocious. They look literally like they are going to chip off huge pieces of paint. And like I said, even if your kid's not putting the, um, even if your kid's not actually putting the ornament in their mouth, they could accidentally ingest a piece of the paint that chipped off and you happen to not see it. Even if you are a helicopter parent who is looking after their every move, mistakes happen. That's why they're called mistakes. It's okay, but most people don't go out of their way to create these possible what if scenarios simply because they want their toddler's toy to match their home aesthetic. I want to read a couple of the comments and then we'll go on to her second part where she tries to redeem herself. Somebody said babies first paint chips. Sad beige baby. Colors are so beneficial to development. Are the spray colors kid safe? Somebody has said, what's a little toxic paint exposure? At least you got the picture. And the creator responded and said, this spray paint is not toxic if it's not ingested. And my daughter is not eating or putting any of it in her mouth. You know, again, like mistakes happen. And I don't think that half of TikTok would have been upset with this video if it was fake outrage and people just wanting to be upset at something. This was uh, a true hazard. And to put it out there as if it's a tutorial of sorts um, is alarming. Someone said, is this real? And she responded and said, sure is. So many people saying it was such a cute toy before. You know, um, okay, so let's go on to her update. In this update, she wants to show this DIY ornaments where the paint goes inside the ornament and it's plastic ornaments and all of this kind of stuff. She says that she takes the hooks off the ornaments, which, okay, fair, you have a toddler, don't let them play with ornament hooks. But if you are taking the hooks off, but you just told us that she doesn't, put anything in her mouth. So you're going to allow her to play with toxic covered 
paint ornaments, but you take away the hooks because you know that mistakes can happen, right? So you're basically acknowledging what everybody else was saying in the first video. I just don't see the value of putting the paint on the inside of the ornament because if something were to happen, all that it would take is that top of the ornament to come off and paint chips are filled on the inside of this ornament. Like, I, I just don't understand, like, you you really tried to come and like clap back and then at the end she says, let me know what you guys think. I'm, you know, if you have an opinion, be kind about it or move along. Natty, that's not the way the internet works. Don't you know this already? You should know this because you have quite a bit of content on your TikTok. You should know that if you're putting content out there, not everybody is going to like it. Not everybody is going to agree with it. And when it comes to um, putting something hazardous in front of your child and calling it a tutorial, why would you expect people to applaud that decision? Some of y'all have some major beef with me because I broke the internet and decided to spray paint my toddler's step two first Christmas tree. And all beef aside, I could care less if you think that I'm a sad beige mom, but I do care about how a lot of you guys commented on the colors and the safety of the ornament. My toddler truly doesn't put these in her mouth, but if you have a toddler that would, this is for you, and we are going to DIY some toddler safe ornaments with a little pop of color. All you're going to need is some plastic fillable ornaments. These are the two and a half inch size, and they fit perfectly with the step two tree. Some acrylic paint, a pair of scissors, and a cardboard box. I use the scissors to make some little holes in the cardboard box. That way the ornaments can fully dry upside down. And all you have to do is pour some of the acrylic paint inside the ornament and then I just did a tapping motion on my hand to get the paint all spread around throughout the ornament you can definitely add more paint if need be I just basically repeated these steps until all of the ornaments were completely done then I let mine sit and dry overnight they may need a little bit more time depending on how much paint you use and there are two things that I did to make sure that they're a little bit more toddler and baby proof the first thing is I got rid of the ornament hook on my child and I know that she would grab that hook off almost immediately another option is to glue it on so your child doesn't pull it off the second thing is I got rid of any of the paint that was right in the lip of the ornament that way they won't be close to paint if they do put it in their mouth fingernail polish remover will be your best friend in removing that extra paint just make sure to clean with water after. Here's how our DIY ornaments turned out. I'm a little scared to ask what you guys think, but I'm going to do it anyways. I think they're pretty cute. Here's what the old ones look like. It's actually been almost a month since I painted these and there hasn't been any cracking, peeling paint, anything like that. But here's how the new ornaments turned out and what our little sad beige tree looks like with a pop of color. And as always, let me know what you guys think, but if you do have an opinion, please be kind about it or move along. She's responding to comments over here left and right saying, you know, the paint's not chipping, even though she said that it was chipping. Like, here's the thing, like, let's just say when she typed that comment, it wasn't chipping. Paint can chip, paint can chip at any moment in time on these new ornaments. And it can paint, or it can chip off the tree, it can chip off the star. And I, I just find this to be so completely unnecessary. And there were so many people who were trying to educate her in both comment sections. And aside from the safety issues, you know, going back to the developmental part of showing your children colors, like you guys know me, I have a pretty dark aesthetic. Like I love black, I like dark colors, but I would never push that onto my child or my children. That is just completely unfair. It is not okay. And it, I, can't stand seeing this and I feel like I see it all the time where it's like you know your neutral aesthetic has to be passed down to your children immediately where they're literally playing with like wooden blocks that have literally no color they're not allowed to you know have the fun toys this year because they're too bright and don't match your uh, you know, restoration hardware vibe that you have going on in your house. And um, it, it's kind of sad. It's kind of sad to see that taken away from kids. And then you have people like her who are literally willing to take it so far that they are putting their children um, at, at risk for ingesting toxic chemicals. Um, and I just find the whole thing to be sad. I will share with you guys before I close this video out, just because I feel like, you know, since I don't have kids, but I was once a kid, I will share with you guys memories if and when they apply to my videos. One of my most cherished and, um, you know, one of the memories that I constantly think about and I can remember it like it happened an hour ago 
is during the holiday season, all of the colors that I would constantly see. We had multicolor lights on the outside of the house and, um, you know, multicolor lights on like the shrubs and stuff. And we had a big, um, kind of like a shrub thing at the end of the driveway that had multicolor lights on it. And, you know, it was never tacky, but it was very bright. And you could see, you know, from around the corner, like you could see the Christmas lights and on the inside, we had the color lights on the tree and we had tinsel and we had, um, you know, red and green and blue. And it was just magical to, to see all of those colors and to now as an adult be able to think back to my childhood holiday seasons and I don't remember every gift that I ever got and I don't remember every thing or every event that we did for all of those years but I do remember all of the bright colors and I remember the feeling that it would give me to see all of those colors every single, you know, evening when we would come home and the house was lit up and then you would walk inside and the Christmas tree was lit up and the beautiful tinsel was on the tree and everything. Um, so I don't know. I, I think that color is instrumental and I would love to know how y'all feel about this. Um, whether you work with kids, if you have kids, if you are like me and you were a kid at once, which applies to all of us, tell me how you feel about this down below. Am I complaining about something for no reason? Do I kind of have a point? Do you have points that you want to add? I would definitely love to hear from you guys. And what do you remember about the holiday season? What do you remember like, as a kid, what are those strongest memories for you? I love videos like this because the comment sections are always really um, good. And yeah, I can't wait to see what you guys have to say. So for now, if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.